All right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So if you were to ask the question, what is fire? A chemist would tell you that it is simply a very rapid oxidation reaction that produces sufficient heat to propel itself along and you know, generate some plasma and light. Fire. <laughs> now you might want to ask further, well, what is an oxidation reaction? Well, that is when you have something that uh, wants to give away electrons, such as the hydrocarbon wax in this candle, and something that wants to take those electrons, such as the oxygen in the air, which are being combined to form the fire. What if you had a different oxidizer? You know, anything that takes electrons is considered an oxidizer. Oxygen just happens to be the most common one. You can have other oxidizers, nitrous oxide, for instance, comes to mind, which makes things burn just as well as air will. In fact, uh, much more strongly than air, if it's pure. But it still contains oxygen atoms, and it's the oxygen atoms that are really oxidizing. There are oxidizers that do not contain any oxygen, such as chlorine. Chlorine and oxygen actually have a lot in common. They're both diatomic, strongly oxidizing gases. But uh, chlorine, of course, is a toxic gas. You breathe in chlorine, you're going to have a bad day. But there's a lot of bacteria that would have such a bad day if they breathed in oxygen. In fact, one of the most deadly mass extinction events happened on Earth when oxygen was being added to the atmosphere. It killed off most of the life that was already here. And chlorine is just as toxic to us as oxygen is to many forms of bacteria. If things had turned out differently, it would have been possible to have an atmosphere containing chlorine instead of oxygen, and there might be critters running around that evolved to live in an atmosphere of chlorine, which an atmosphere like that would be toxic to us, but, you know, if they evolved for it, we evolved for a different toxic gas. What would happen if you did have an atmosphere like that? What would fire look like? So this is what I've come up with. I've got a jar here, which I've just evacuated of all air. I've got a little candle in there with an electrical igniter and a chlorine generator. I'm going to drip some hydrochloric acid into a chamber filled with calcium hypochlorite. That will produce uh, calcium chloride, water, and chlorine gas. The chlorine gas will go up this tube, through this bubbler, and into the chamber. So, there we go. I'm just going to Start adding the chlorine, the hydrochloric acid to produce the chlorine. Just uh, very slowly, dropwise, just like that. Perfect. You should be able to see the pressure slowly increasing. Yep, it's definitely going up. Slowly producing chlorine. Actually, slow that down even. Should see the jar become kind of a greenish yellow color. Okay, so there's our chlorine. We've added uh, six inches of mercury worth of chlorine gas. So, turn that off now. I have this hose connected to a bottle of pure nitrogen. I'm gonna hook this up right there. And I'll add the nitrogen to make up the rest of the atmosphere. There's the nitrogen going in. Alright, I'm actually gonna stop right there. I wanna leave the chamber under a slight vacuum. Let's see if we can light the candle. Turning on the electricity now. Come on. Candle did not light. Ok, 
think I burned out my wire. My guess is there's just uh, not enough chlorine to sustain combustion. <laughs> Glad that's being sucked away from me. over a third of an atmosphere worth of chlorine. Let's light this candle. Hey, it's burning. Went out. Yeah, see this soot? It definitely had some combustion of the wax, but the flame was not able to sustain itself. It seemed to go out as soon as the heat from the wire stopped uh, supplying energy. So we're going to try again with uh, more chlorine, so more pressure, maybe twice as much as that. Just incomplete combustion. Okay, that is significantly more chlorine. We're up to the 10 inch mark, so that's 16 inches worth. That's burning. <laughs> I think it's interesting how the uh, metal... Uh, my camera cut out there, but the metal was continuing to burn after the candle went out. I think the reason for that is that chlorine just can't burn carbon very well, especially not at low pressure. So it was able to burn the hydrogen, but not the carbon. So the carbon's ending up up here as soot, and the hydrogen that's burning, you know, it's producing hydrogen chloride, but it wasn't producing very much energy, so it's not able to sustain the fire very well. The metal, you know, metal's burning chlorine very well. And I think that actually completely burned up. So anyway, there we are. Um, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.